think they're doing enough about the ICC? Not at all. Not at all. Oh, what's the best, uh, Danny? Um, what's the best um, sort of money in the in, uh, New Zealand cricketer gets? Okay, let's wake up. Yeah, let's get amongst it. Danny Morrison, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, you know the usual line. He's used the usual line about triplets with two balls. My one is short and sweet because instead of being circumcised, I had my legs cut off. I just like to say, like Mike Whitney, and the bashers. In the true spirit of being here in Shanghai, I'm a Chinese virgin with my wife. It was first time here, and I've got to say with these gentlemen, absolutely fucking love it. Absolutely. This is fantastic. Brilliant. And part of charity, but being here, we could rave and yarn about cricket and ashes and yeah, nah, yawn. But really we're here because we're here for the love of the game. Fuck the IPL, the one day cricket, test cricket. We want to hear about what you guys are feeling and having a good time. Because this is what it's about, having a good time. Carving it, bashers. Fucking oath, oath. God, I love this place. I've moved to Australia. God, I love Australia. I can't believe it. He's moved to Queensland. Can you believe, like, the incomparable words of Jeffrey Robert Thompson? Fuck, I love that joint. <laughs> Queensland is a blast. This place is a blast. I love it here. You're doing this really well. Seriously, you're doing this gig very well. And I would love to come back. I know my wife and I, Kimberly, and a lot of the bashers... And a lot of those guys are married too, and they have overachieved. Kimberly, all we can say is unlucky. Uh, exactly. Unlucky, darling. I've overachieved. <laughs> the bashers are overachieved, and I fucking love this joint. All right, Danny, now, a serious question. <laughs> serious question, Danny Morrison. What is the state of New Zealand cricket at this point in time? Because you keep getting a shellacking. Well, no, you know, like a semi-shellacking, not a serious shellacking. What's the depth? Is there good players coming through? You seem to be relying on blokes like, you know, if Ross Taylor doesn't get him and a couple of other guys don't get him, it sort of crumbles away and there's no young fast bowlers, to me, coming through like you or Sir Richard Hadley. Where is New Zealand cricket at? Well, folks, we've heard about AXN, we've heard about India. You were there with the ICL. Shane Bond, Daryl Tuffy, Chris Cairns, all those guys were there. Bond is back, Tuffy's back, and we need those guys because you hit the nail on the head. We don't have a lot of depth. So in terms of that, fantastic. A lot of Australians in the audience love those VB ads. You know the VB ad where they're all marching along and those really short aunts like me are walking along with those Amazons and they're going, and this guy, oh, it's a miracle. He's punching above his weight. This is a miracle. Look at her. Well, it's like that in New Zealand. We are. We punch above our weights to play Australia. I mean, fuck it, really. There's 4.2 million people in New Zealand. There's 4.2 people in Queensland. Why the hell do you think we moved there? Fucking brilliant. The sun's shining, playing these guys, trying to rip their heads off, trying to rip their heads off and succeed and play the Aussies is a big deal. A massive deal. And test cricket. Now you've got one day cricket. One day cricket, IPL 2020. That's where it's at. We've lost our depth and the 2020 game is here to survive. You old, I won't say that, you old guys played, right, a bit of World Series cricket. The whole thing with Packer, fantastic. It's another revolution. 20, 20 cricket is here to stay, folks. If I was to say to you, is New Zealand a better 2020 side, one day 50 side. over yep. side, Than test or cricket. test side? Yeah, one day side, most definitely. We perform But look, we all know... If you said to all of us, even Katrina, give back all your one day games for one more test, we'd all do that. Because to us, that's the pure game. Five days, it's like a flower coming into blossom. How do you change that back around in New Zealand to make test cricket the most important thing to the cricketers in the, in the country? You do, and it sounds really cynical. Shut up! Listen, piss heads. The hard thing is, is that the instant society, we want an instant fix, short and sweet, like some of us. 
Want it here, want it now. And society with this Y generation, they want it now. Hard thing is, is the money is in that. England, Australia, South Africa, particularly India. They've got the money, they, they got the big money. New Zealand, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, can't count Zimbabwe, West Indies, all those sides don't get a lot of money to play. But the hard thing about it, they play for the passion. Passion is starting to be sucked away because of the dollar. And you can't get around that, you just can't. It's a, it's a natural thing. Can't get around it, but you're right, Whit, Test cricket is still the pinnacle, I think still the pinnacle for players to aspire to. And that's the challenge those toothless bastards have got at the ICC. Yeah. Can they keep that happening rather than the mighty dollar out of the subcontinent? Therein lies a challenge, and therein lies a challenge to the bashers. Let's get on the piss some more. <laughs>